Guys, welcome back to another episode, the final episode of Soviet Wumbles Random Antistasi BS Part 5. This is it, the final showdown between the Badgers and whoever they're fighting this time and each other, and also apparently a sea turtle. Let's get into it. But first, a word from our sponsors. 15 years ago, when I noticed my hair starting to thin, there weren't many options available. Doctor visits and pharmacies were really expensive, and buying stuff on the internet, you never really knew what you were getting. Nowadays, things are totally different thanks to Keeps. Keeps provides doctor-recommended, clinically proven treatments to combat hair loss in men. They're a subscription service that sends affordable treatment plans right to your door, often far less expensive than typical pharmacy prices. Two-thirds of men experience some form of hair loss by the age of 35. Keeps offers clinically proven, research-backed, and doctor-prescribed treatments to stop hair loss and improve hair growth. Keeps team of physicians, medical advisors, and care specialists work with you to create a tailored treatment plan for your hair goals. And every treatment plan gives you a full year of unlimited messaging with your prescribing physician so you can ask about anything, anytime. It's easy to subscribe to Keeps and get access to quality, expert care without having to visit a doctor's office or pharmacy in person. And Keeps' subscription offers auto automatic refill reminders so you'll never run low on the treatments you need to care for your hair. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off your first order, go to keeps.com slash mhgr or click the link in the description. That's k-e-e-p-s dot com slash mhgr. And thanks again to Keeps for sponsoring today's video. Okay, let's do it. How does this speak undercover? It just does. <laughs> that is... okay. That is not undercover. That is a military grade M4. That is a, a ACOG, US made ACOG. It looks like a US made PEC 15. Uh, you can't, you can get some of those gear civilian, but man, it is going to cost you a lot. Yeah, just act natural, even though we, we look. <laughs> this is surface to air missile launcher. That's also American made. Like we are quite literally in the IRA. Are you getting in? Uh, we're full, man. We've got no space. Oh, really? Who stole the police car? <laughs> Come on! We've talked about this in other videos, guys. If you're running an insurgency on Arma 3, you want to make sure you disguise yourself as the local na national security forces. Uh, the Taliban and uh, Iraqi insurgents did that all the time, and it was a great tactic. Uh, it really made it hard to distinguish friend from foe, and it made you distrust your allies. Oh, why have we got a police car? Is it Neville? It's yeah. Neville. Oh, you know what? So, police chief oh, Neville. <laughs> we need some fan fiction. <laughs> police chief <laughs> fucking car. Neville. Who would you guys shop Neville? Ship, ship, right? It's shipping. Who would you guys ship Neville with? Which one of the ZF members? Let me know in the comments. So I repeat, Mark, a couple of APCs and a tank. <laughs> the Bradley's pulled away. The Bradley's got oh, get down, get God, down, the Bradley can see it through its auto oh, cannon. <laughs> Oh my God. We have a couple of cars around here, yeah? Got, yeah. We yeah. grab a car each, well, got... and we ram the tank, <laughs> and whoever kills it gets 20 quid from me. You can go do that. I'm a student! I'm a student. I need money! I need money. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, student loan repayments, like the real military, are a powerful incentive to get people to do a job. And I think the military now up their bonuses. The U.S. Army's paying like, like 50k for some MOSs plus loan repayment plus tuition assistance. Dude, it's not a bad deal. I mean, admittedly, you probably gotta you know sign away a couple of years to the army, but we're not even at war. You're not even gonna deploy, you'll just be chilling on a base. <laughs> really? Which if you've seen my Zach Hazard videos, you know, is a pain all its own. I wanna watch this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. He's put the sirens on for it as well. Here he goes. Where's the Bradley? Is it too late to say that I crossed my fingers? <laughs> no. Oh, that, was that? Impact? Is that impact? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, those Bradleys could take a beating. <laughs> that was, he got shot on. Oh man. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh, <laughs> down. That's an auto cannon. Uh, how are we gonna get to it without getting shot? Uh, we ain't. Edberg zigzagging. Auto cannon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That's realistically what would happen. That Bradley Gunners is is really they're just having fun. Oh. <laughs> you can actually take out a Bradley with a vehicle borne IED. That's the term for a car loaded with explosives. Um 
we would sometimes see our, our armored vehicles taken out by vehicle borne ieds but you would have to pack an incredible amount of explosives into that vehicle in arma 3. <laughs> oh so much for zigzagging edbuck oh christ so what are we doing running away like cowards we did. Uh, we're running away like cowards all right okay yes bless guys i'm here to tell you that Every good insurgent movement all the way back to at least the North Vietnamese uh, knew that if you are don't have a decisive advantage, you have to withdraw, right? The U.S. forces would actually encounter far more North Vietnamese than the North Vietnamese would encounter U.S. forces. And that's because the NVA and the Viet Cong understood that they chose their targets very carefully. They relied on great intelligence to ensure that the targets they were going after were not well defended, they had the element of surprise, and they had good intelligence and a good understanding of what was going on. And even then, it was still a tough fight. So withdrawing once you see a Bradley's on station is the right call. The fact that they screwed around as long as they did is a testament to the fact that Badgers are absolutely terrible. Let's go, Cleo. Let's go, Cleo. How are you doing that shit? Have you got enhanced movement? No. Then you must go around. I have an innovative solution. Fuck you. Stand back. Stand clear. Oh, no, that's a cl Claymore is not an innovative solution. And... Dad, oh, come on. Sorry, which part of stand clear did you not understand, Mr. Batty? He's the runner. Yeah, what? I don't see the convoy oh. anymore in the map. Oh. Oh, okay. For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> How fucked is fucked? Oh my god, he's fucked. Holy shit, his injuries. It's your fucking fault for trying to use a claymore to get over a fence. And I fucking said, stand clear, and you just stood in the kill. Okay, he has an RPG that he could have shot at the Bradley. What What are, they, what are you guys doing here? You gotta use your anti-armor squads. What the fuck happened? Mr. Batty's an idiot, that's what happened. Are you still wearing that fucking wetsuit? And, and Neville has an AT4. Guy, they are, they are perfectly equipped to take out a single armored vehicle. You, oh, Predator drone! Uh, no, eight. Nope, A10. A10! American A10 just flew overhead. Oh god. Everything's blowing up. I'm running away. Hello! Don't say hello at the A10. Fuck this. Fuck this. Close the door. 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 Everyone important is already inside. Close the door. <laughs> Ever since joining this server, I've missed intellectual conversation. <laughs> My rocket just disappeared into nothing. No, turret's still up, but hold fire, hold fire. Turret's still like. What the? Who the? What the fuck? I'm just gonna go back. We get back. How are you going back? A fast travel? To? I don't know yet. Where are you gonna go? That's not the flagpole. What is this? It's oh. a <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Have you tried leaving the group yet? In the military, we would sometimes refer when we were deployed to the flagpole as a euphemism for high-level leadership. Oftentimes, high-level leaders were pretty disconnected from the reality on the ground and would impose these sort of bizarre and Byzantine demands on soldiers. For example, our forward operating base, the entire ground was covered in extremely fine sandy dust. You would work tirelessly to keep the dust out of everything, especially your weapon. And even though we were cleaning our weapons once a day, they still got dusty. Of course, our battalion commander, who was on a fob that had nice paved surfaces, they would come by and they would grill our soldiers and inspect their weapons and yell at them for having dust. And of course, it doesn't make any sense. It drove me absolutely insane to have my soldiers, who worked tirelessly to keep their weapons perfectly serviceable, mind you, would just get berated by these fob rats and leadership who didn't understand what it was like to live at our very remote forward operating base day in day out where's, where's our flagpole we would call them the flagpole the flag we are close to the flagpole make sure you guys are tight because we're you know the flagpole is going to be at our location <laughs> there it is. There it is. We've been going up to that flagpole for the last day or so. Yeah, just fire the shit out of all of it. Fuck the civilians. Don't shoot civilians. It's natural selection, my friend. No! They do tend to run in front of your bullets. Today. Well, you're supposed to check your fire. But they're running in the middle of a fucking war, though. They live here! If we live home, here! Then. This is our home! If we shoot them in the legs, they can't run in front of our bullets. No! No matter how many people live or die, the internet connection to this island is still shit. <laughs> yes. Guys, is anybody going for a swim near the base? Uh, 
Be Guys, I'm going to tell you that uh, a lot of insurgent movements will target civilians, usually across ethnic, sectarian, or religious lines, in order to just galvanize different groups of people against each other. You know, a Shia will bomb a Sunni holy site in Iraq to galvanize the Shias to retaliate against the Sunnis, creating a cycle of violence and destabilizing the entire country, right? Making it easier for insurgent movements to seize power or to achieve their strategic goals. Because remember, if you are fighting on the side of the, if you're trying to instill a new government, right, or preserve an existing government, your incentive is of course to give people safety and stability. If the power goes on, the internet runs, the water is clean, and you feel safe going to the market, then the existing government is winning. So insurgents will do everything they can to prevent that, including targeting civilians. Really? Also known as a reactive target. He's just having a swim in his clothes. No, don't take pot shots. Bastard, no! <laughs> oh, fuck it. Which objective are we hitting? The radio? Yeah, the same yeah, place. Oh, the same that. place. <laughs> what I always get a kick out of is the fact that gunshots travel quite a bit, especially on a small island. So if they start lighting up some random civilian, someone's going to call about it, especially if it's an anti-aircraft gun. They'll never suspect it. Doing precisely what we've done three times yeah. before. <laughs> it's exactly the last thing they'll expect. Exactly. Oh, oh God. It's got arse so in the face. You, uh, about we'll come south. Why why are they wearing a bunch of Russian gear? I thought they were fighting the Americans. Fucking damn it. Take it. Okay. What are we doing? It's all stacked all right. up on this quad. <laughs> really? Uh, <laughs> guys, come on. Let's not cover. Guys, I don't know how to fly these things. Well, don't fly it. We'll garage it. Now, I'm sure <laughs> it can't be as hard as it looks. It is. Okay. It is. Just get us to the flag. No, no, go for it, Dingle. Stuff. You can do it. I'm sure I can do it. Thank you for believing in me. You can do it. We believe in you. Why is this speeding up? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna die. There he goes. Is <laughs> he just driving around uh, the that's airfield? Not the runway? Yes, what on earth? <laughs> Congrats on your promotion, Dingle. <laughs> I got promoted for flying a plane. <laughs> what about that tank <laughs> by the jet that you crashed? Wow, did that rocket deflect oh, off my... of it? Uh, oh, I passed that out. That gun is now pointing at us. Oh, the Soviet's down. No, I think he's bugged, so it might be a mercy killing if we just put him out of his business. Well, let's just see what happens. Okay, we'll see if he gets up. I love how this one guy has a mustache. Uh, the, uh, the epic mustache. One that the military would absolutely never authorize. Uh, you know, I gotta say, one of the most antiquated things about the military is their extreme prohibition on facial hair. The only people who can grow it are, are uh, Joint Special Operations Command soldiers who are forward deployed, usually actual operators. And that was originally done so that they could connect more closely with their local counterparts. Obviously, it was no secret to the Iraqis or Afghans that we were Americans and we didn't have beards. So why that was really important for special forces to have when we also worked with the Afghans all the time, it's not 100% clear. Mostly, I think it's because JSOC didn't want to have the stupidity of ordering soldiers to shave when they were in extremely remote, extremely austere environments. And as you know, common sense does not trickle down to the main body of the army. And that meant that every soldier who was deployed, regardless if you had running water or not, was expected to shave every day. Yeah. How's your day, Dinkle, anyway? Oh, I managed to crash a plane, and I've walked the whole way here, not a scratch. Don't really know well, what's going on. I thought I we were can... winning. Yeah, I know. I was just chilling. I could just hear the radio, explosions, jets, everything, and I'm just there, my speedboat. Just, you know. <laughs> just having, yeah, fun, just having yeah. a casual well, conversation walking, over so... my mortally wounded yeah, body. I think, I think Hey, am I beat? They're fucking <laughs> losing my shit while I'm unconscious. <laughs> oh, Snickers. Hey! Are you lot attacking the airfield? Yep, we're robbing. Fun fact, guys, we've talked about this in other videos. If you have a colleague who is down and you are dead, uh, KIA, and you really don't think you can recover their body, right? Things are too emergent, right? It's too, uh, you, for example, there's only, there's no more room in the Humvees and you have living casualties and you have absolutely no choice, right? you will take what the sensitive items off of that uh, service member, right? You'll take their weapon, their communications gear, you'll take their ID tags, you'll take everything in the left breast pocket, right? Because you know that's where under the Geneva Convention, personal non-military effects are supposed to be stored and you'll take their dog tags, right? And you'll take their ID card. And you'll take all that and you will 
I mean, if it's that emergency, if it's that big an emergency, you will literally just leave them. Um, again, your duty is to the soldiers who are still alive. That said, you will always go back. The U.S. military will always go back and try to recover uh, bodies, even if they can't extract with them. And the U.S. military, it is extreme situations where they will leave the bodies of service members. Okay, I'm very way to the airfield, which is just over this hill. Oh, good lord! What the shit just hit me? Uh, yeah, we have a minefield here, you know that, right? I walked into a minefield. I think one will just found. Ah, it's me playing Tarkov. <laughs> hey, Soviet. Oh my gosh, is that Edberg? I finally see a ZF member's face. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's nothing in this backpack. Look at him looking at me like that. <laughs> I was trying to say something. I, it's uh, inaudible. It's probably ra 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 YouTuber phenomenon. Ra 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 ra. Cunt, 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 cunt. Oh, oh, guess what, Soviet? Says Edberg. There's a minefield here. Be careful before you step forward into it. But no, that's not what I got. I got silence because they're a bunch of fucking penises. Mmm. Yeah, you can't talk smack on your colleagues like that. Though also, you should label your minefields, right? There's a universal sign for minefield here, and these guys obviously missed that memo. I think the runway's clear. You could probably take off, honestly. Wow, look at this equipment. We can store them. We're gonna fly one to provide overwatch. Holy fucking shit. Oh. Holy shit, the resistance have an A-10. Ho ho ho! The Badgers have an A-10! <laughs> I'm gonna head over towards the uh, Dana is gonna be gosh, happy. Google's taking off with an F-22. And an Apache. Holy shit, look at this equipment that we've captured. Oh, there goes Moogle. <laughs> Bit of a shaky takeoff there, Moogle, but he's up. Well, some American general's getting fired. We have... Uh, ha, 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 ha. Uh, it's funny because we know that's not true. U.S. left a phenomenal amount of equipment in Afghanistan, including aircraft. I don't believe any fighter jets, but possibly some fighter jets. And the Taliban got their hands on all of it. Luckily for us, that these aircraft are so hard to maintain and they're so expensive to keep flying that basically they were almost certainly unserviceable and unflyable just by virtue of the fact that there weren't crews to maintain them and a huge long logistical tail to do so. And you can imagine the US is not gonna be exporting parts to Afghanistan anytime soon secured a nearby smaller American airbase. A third of the island is in open revolt now. Clear the runway, I'm coming in for a landing. Oh my god, they may actually successfully, overthrow, successfully uh, overthrow the regime. Moogle is attempting his landing. Way more left, Moogle. Oh, Moogle! Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Moogle. Never mind. Oh. Oh, That's a real thing. Uh, if you screw up a carrier landing, you can absolutely just kick on your afterburners and burn right off of the runway and try again. It's way safer than trying to land a shaky landing. Oh my god. Attempt. <laughs> no. Fuck it. What? Move. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's you are you genuinely shit at anything you try to drive or fly. Fuck moving. off, this is impossible. <laughs> Attempt number three. What's the status of it here? Here's the thing to ask yourselves. This is probably accurate. It would probably be really hard to land an F-22 on a dirt airfield. But then you gotta ask yourself, why would you design a combat aircraft that can't be landed in combat conditions? Yeah. We're just all standing around trying to watch Moogle land and it's fascinating. You know what you should do is just put an AT mine. <laughs> no, <laughs> so no. That would piss him off so much. <laughs> so you you can do it, Mergul! <laughs> he can't do it. You can do it, Mergul! Oh my god, he's what? done. He's done. Hey! Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. <laughs> <laughs> nice uh, one. Nice. I just leave it there. Apache Black. is uh, setting down. You didn't die! Well, that was fucking terrifying. You didn't die! Oh, fuck it, hell. Neville's just point blanking these guys with the 120 mil. Neville's Vietnamese. Yeah. That makes him very effective at fighting Americans. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I didn't realize he was Vietnamese. I really thought he was from uh, Singapore. Yeah, he's absolutely kicking <laughs> ass. <laughs> Neville is absolutely beating the shit out of the Yanks. One man army over here. <laughs> the problem with the Bradley is you can't operate it with just one man. You see Neville is in the gun turret uh, providing a support by fire, right? And what should be happening is that these dismounts, these light infantry, should be pushing up towards the base because they have this awesome overwatch. 
Also, what should be happening is someone should be driving the vehicle so that it's just a little harder for anti-tank teams on the American side to engage. Uh, obviously, this is the Badgers. There's no chance that any of that will happen. Oh! Right, yes, yeah, so for those just joining the stream, we're just trying to take over the south part of Altis, but we're struggling because obviously the American aggression level is so high. Crazy NPCs. Oh, bloody hell! Indicate, you buffoon! Oh yeah, this is, uh, you can tell the American driving culture has really started to pervade Altis. Oh Christ, Jesus fuck! People drive like nutcases on this island. What the fuck? What the shit? What the fuck? What the fuck is he doing? I don't know, what is he doing? I appreciate that this AI was probably like really buggy, the driving simulator AI, and then one of the devs is probably like, guys, we nailed it. This is exactly what driving in my U U US metro area feels like. He's kind of crashing. I'm what not surprised. Nobbed. I'm really not surprised. What an actual knobhead. What the fuck are these civilians doing? What the fucking shit? What the fuck? What? What? Huh? <laughs> Sleeping. What? <laughs> Guys, yeah, uh, if you've been, if you've seen the viral video of Kensington Avenue in Philadelphia, my hometown, you know that dudes lying on the road, sort of crawling around, is not an uncommon sight, again, in a lot of downtown metro areas in the U.S. And I'm here to tell you, I think it's only going to get worse as more and more people move out, more and more downtown businesses and offices close, never to return. It's going to mean that the service services that those people need are going to not have the tax dollars to support them. This island is weird. How goes the resistance? Uh, we're struggling. Well, we're not struggling, but a lot of people are dying. More than 1,300 innocent civilians have been massacred. Not by the Americans is what your propaganda should say. By us, but mostly by the reprisal attacks. No! Okay, 1,301 civilians have died. There's the HQ. Uh, I'm in on my... Oh, there we go. Do you think? <laughs> hey! The AI is learning from ZF, everybody. The AI is learning. Right, I'm just man. They, the, the, this is like Skynet levels of, uh, you know, an AI, a military AI trained by Soviet Womble would be nightmarishly incompetent and nightmarishly dangerous. Because from what we've seen, Soviet's just as likely to kill his teammates as he is to kill any enemy going to uh, get this truck so I can unload it myself. <laughs> He's like, fine. <laughs> Look at him. Calm down. Jesus. You did just run over a guy. Let's focus on the outpost. Let's just keep moving, guys. One uh, bird in the hand is worth several in can the bush. Take out that like, what? I don't know. What's the phrase? The like when you've got more birds in your hand than they're in the bush, therefore you're better than the bush. Because sure fuck vegetation. Is this going to get me demonetized? I'm, I'm waiting for someone to make the joke. The, the, there's definitely a, an unmade bush joke here. Have I misunderstood the phrase? Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm okay. Wait, cyanide's about to fly overhead. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey, Cy! <laughs> nice prize you got there, Cy. Uh, counter attack incoming. Apache is lining up straight to our north. north east. Uh, cyanide's not your A-10 going down? Yep, yep, yep. Shit, we lost cash. Wait, cyanide in the water? Yep, he's having <laughs> a long swim ahead of him. Are you okay, Cy? Right. Water! He's coming. Uh. Cold! <laughs> you can do it, man. You've got an insulative layer of fat. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. If you ever look at long distance swimmers, like people that swim like across the English Channel and stuff, often they actually are slightly heavier. They probably even count as being overweight. Obviously, they are in phenomenal cardiovascular shape, but that extra layer of fat is good because one, it improves their buoyancy. Two, as we discussed, it actually does insulate them from the cold and keeps their core body temperature higher longer. A turtle! Here comes your pantry! Yeah, Take yeah, cover! Yeah, yeah. Oh god, get down! Get down! <laughs> the civilian does not give a shit! That's it, I'm waiting in here. Guys, I'm here to tell you, real civilians in war zones uh, d display, not all of them, most of them display common sense, but there's a tiny subset, you know, I'm gonna say 5%, that just display a frightening disregard for their own safety. I have seen civilians lollygagging, staring, and walking around in basically every dangerous situation I have been in, to my shock, continual shock. Yeah, coming back up. <laughs> yeah, coming. Okay. What the fuck? Yeah, you see that as well? 
Fucking Patrick Swayze lives here. The Apache is strafing me! <laughs> Such a beautiful sight. Are you alive, cyanide? What? Guys, fun fact, if a pilot ejects from an aircraft, the Geneva Convention says you cannot shoot them. They are a prisoner of war. They are not a combatant anymore. Why? Is, is the turtle okay? Why? <laughs> they killed the turtle. No, Steve, why? Can you see the civilian, the, just the flock? Right? Yeah. 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 Must be like a conference. Sorry, is that you? I might pass out. He's alive, amazingly. <laughs> what? Were you really flying that plane in your underpants? We don't have a dress code in the oh, insurgency. Fact. You naked? I know. I was asking that. Why do you need underpants? Since when do we have a ah! dress code? Oh, look at this. Okay. Okay. Right. Got more armor. Man, he is wearing less and less. Also, the matching white undies, dude. That's. It's not a look, dog. It is that's a good vest. Is everyone in? The trucks are coming for Steve. <laughs> Is everyone in? <laughs> is it Steve or right back there? He's traumatized. He's deeply traumatized by the loss of his friend Steve. Did <laughs> I look at me? <laughs> is he okay? No. Someone kill the engine on the truck. No, not like that. Yeah, hey, I have clogs now. A hat? Yeah. When are you going to put your knob away? Why would I want to do that? Right. The do little bird to the southwest. Yeah, to go put on their tails away. My dog. Oh, we've got new shit. St st what the Black fuck ball. is that? No, not this. Not this again. Okay. It's not Guys, I'm here to tell you that uh, you want to have pants in combat. I don't know how else to tell you. And frankly, if you need to hear that from me, uh, you're probably not cut out for the military. There's rocks and razor wire and bugs and sunburn. There's just a whole host of reasons you really, really, really want to wear pants. Not friendly, not friendly. Okay, well, you might want to put your cheetah tail somewhere safe. Oh, God. Engaging with the javelin. Send it. Shoot it to me. Oh, God, oh, God, I've got to go in this box. What did he do? What was that? What happened? Did he just sting him? Cool <laughs> fires! A stinger! Oh, so hello again. Below! <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a reason this you shit hasn't hit the fan. Uh, the attack scene. Holy fucking shit, yeah. Jenny. My left bollock has more of a fucking IQ than you. Yeah, guys, this is the sort of high IQ plays that you often see with untrained amateur insurgencies. And, unfortunately, because of how insurgencies work, they're pretty much all amateurs. Good, I'm already loaded up. It was really, really not uncommon when I was deployed to find IED sites where the IED planter or the person trying to manufacture it had accidentally done themselves in. <laughs> hang on, hang on, stop, 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 Why? stop, 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 Why? stop, Why stop, 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 Oh, that is a high-end anti-aircraft system on that. Bradley? Hello, everyone. So, speaking to the chat, the Rebel HQ is moving. This is Commander Petros here, so this is the guy we're going to protect. Oh, oh contact checkpoint, oh, 12 o'clock. Shit. Oh, God. Dismounting. Oh, damn. Man, he did not last long. Why would you dismount? You have an up-armored vehicle. Engage with the vehicle. It's hit. I'm dragging him back. So long as Petrus doesn't get hit in the crossfire. Let's get the fuck out of here, yeah. man. Let's get the fuck out of here. Go, we go, gotta, go. we gotta protect the HQ. Need to get yeah, I need to, the, yeah, I know. I need to sort of see out. Well, that was tense. Thank you, whoever saved me. Well done, guys. Oh. Oh. Shit, this camas is fucked. Home sweet home. Do we got hella skrilla? We got what? What did you say? Hella Skrilla, bro. What the fuck does that mean? Hella Skrilla? Hella cash, my man. Skrilla? Man, Skrilla. Skrilla? Dude, when was this video made? Like, 2008? Spending too much time with the kids. Hella Skrilla. Where's the commander? The commander isn't here. What? 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 I don't know whether he might have fallen out or something. He's not here. He's not in the BMD. Are you. What? We didn't leave him at the checkpoint. Okay, time to go check the checkpoint, everybody. <laughs> Quebec, you were supposed to be keeping an eye on him. No, it's not my job. <laughs> Hang on, wait, wait for me, Sai, wait for me. Oh, God. Yeah, leaving things behind. Classic military move happens all the time. Petros! 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 Here, boy! I'm just checking Hang the on, route fucking... we're driving on. 
<laughs> He's just done a fucking runner. Our commander's done a runner. Van Dan! Van Dan! Sorry, just a quick question. Is he hiding in the reeds? Has anyone checked the reeds? I mean, we've just been looking. <laughs> Just drive a Ural around in the reeds until you hear a thunk, a squash, and a pop. <laughs> and a That's a technique. That is a technique to find someone. But then it's too late. This is going to be hilarious if the resistance That's loses sure because we can't are, find our commander. Right. As long as nobody knows we've lost the commander. <laughs> but the commander's like in, in charge of our finances. Has he run off with our cash? <laughs> That's a good one. Though the joke, of course, is that famously the president of Afghanistan, Ashraf Ghani, has also made out as this country was falling with suitcases full of cash, loaded them into a helicopter and made a one-way trip to I think it was Dubai. Now he's probably living large off US cash, unmarked greenbacks, while you, the US taxpayer, uh, get to send more money to Afghanistan because, surprise, surprise, the Taliban don't know how to govern it. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can't believe it. The commander's Arnold Rimmered himself. The Artist's rendition of Ashraf Ghani leaving Afghanistan. In fact, every U.S. contractor, frankly, taking U.S. taxpayer money and dipping out. Not everyone. That's unfair. But man, in my experience, almost every Afghan contractor was actively trying to defraud you. The fuck out of there. We had Hella Skrilla as well. No, no, we're not calling it Hella Skrilla. When we take over the government, we are not calling the new Altian currency Hella Skrilla. Skrilla. You know how you have one million dollars, but yeah. we have one Hella Skrilla? No. I reckon something to do with the towing. Mm, maybe those could be your denominations, like... Uh... One... Uh, Summer... Little bit, a good amount, and hella. Script might have swallowed him. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone into the shadow realm. Just uh, trying some commands in the debug menu, see if I can get him to teleport. Anyway, how you doing, man? You alright? Yeah, not bad. Just gearing up for the work week. You got any meetings or anything? You got to drive anywhere? Uh, no, no. So just at the moment, it's all decentralized development anyway. So it's all done over uh, an app called Same Page, which right. is actually really helpful. For, for <laughs> was that an ad? Was that an ad? But no. It's really helpful. Wait, is 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 Cyanide actually like a like a crypto dev or something? Is he one of those guys who just seems like a doofus, but you're like, oh, he's actually launched a cryptocurrency with a trillion dollar market cap or some other dumb thing? Again, let me know in the comments. I don't. I'm not up on like ZF lore. Oh god, he's dead. They should. In fact, now I should get a discount. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Soviet? Uh, guys? Aliens. That's the only explanation. Ancient aliens. But also here today. This better not be the start to some kind of horror film. What the fuck is everyone? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what happened? Server says Petros's. What have you done? <laughs> Quebec? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh Jesus. Oh, not good. The question is, why didn't they take Sophie or why didn't they take cyanide? Dun 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 This is like the Langoliers. Oh well. Time to One go. man insurgency. In order to take his country back from the oppressor, with his friends floating in the ocean, only cyanide could stop him. Go get a Mackey's drive through and just fucking do whatever. They're back by the old base. Should go get them. Oh, hello. We're back at hello. Surf Club. Head trust, darling. It's, it's broken. The game's broken. Can I, I don't have access to Vespa's um, <laughs> dead box. Did we lose? The resistance of. I, th I, th I think we, he's just been swallowed. We've lost. What the Petros. They fell the into a time. <laughs> The server is totally fucked, holy shit. We lost Petros and then stabbed the server in the heart yeah, to, try, to and try and fix it. it. Vespa's oh, gonna come back Vespa's and say that the server us. host is like burned down to the ground or something. I'm ordering a comfort piece. They have fallen into a time warp, guys. <laughs> time itself <laughs> has thwarted ZF. They are in another timeline. Who is president in this timeline? <laughs> Maybe Neville's president in this timeline. I don't actually even fucking know where I am. Truth be told. Called it. Kind of Called it. The direction that I think I should. 
No way. <laughs> that was genuinely traumatizing. Heat stroke, yeah. Yeah, heat stroke. Yeah. That's the one. I was driving. Wait, hello? Wait, can you guys hear me? Hello? Oh my god. <laughs> he's a ghost. <laughs> what is going on? Unless he's changed his attitude. Guys? I can't, like, check with him. Someone notice me! What the fuck is going on? It actually is horrible. I think, gentlemen, we need to return to civilian life. Yeah, I think that the resistance is over. That's it. Was Petros ever real? Yeah, I'm not sure. Was he a figment of our imagination? We got a bad summary. Yeah, we're just a bunch of surfers. Heat stroke, Heat stroke. Heat stroke. And we thought we had a resistance movement. Maybe the real Petros was the friends we made along the way. Wait, is there more? Oh yeah, there's still more of this. <laughs> it's replaced with empty cardboard boxes. <laughs> oh, bunny rabbit. Okay, all right. This is a weird timeline. This is the weirdest timeline. <laughs> Sad head. Back to surfing then. Yeah, back to, sur I, back I, to I, surfing. <laughs> oh shit, I'm late for work. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> Is he just sprinting to work? Dude, damn. Hi, yes, um, could I get a taxi for one person over to Kavala from... Hi there. Huh. I'm still waiting for the final plot twist, guys. You know there's going to be one. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> His angry boss. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Sorry. Can I get a large latte with two sugars, please? Yep, sure, no problem. <laughs> that would be 329, please. Thank you. Have a good day. I was a resistance commander. Sure you were, Grandpa. We had an F-22. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay, big guy. Let's get you back to bed. Maybe Steve is alive. <laughs> well, guys, that was weird. That was just... That was out there, but thank you so much for joining me and be sure to follow me on Twitch. I stream every single day. Uh, link is in the description, twitch.tv slash combatvetpaul. And until next time, oh, and thanks to Keeps for sponsoring today's video. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.